Explore.org began with the simple dream of replacing fear with trust. I live a blessed life. I was given the opportunity to be able to help people. But what I quickly noticed is people used to always approach me and say, hey, Charlie, how do I get involved and where do I begin? And so really, I was doing this before I started making films and the photography. But then people started suggesting, oh, when you go somewhere, could you archive this and share it with me? Because I really want to see the worlds you're living in. And so it really started that simply um, as a way to kind of archive the minds and people that I had met and to share it. Because we live in a world today where trust is a very sacred, almost, concept. Uh, let me give you an example. There's a natural disaster, let's say in Haiti, or an earthquake here in Italy, I bet. And a million organizations start trying to get you to give. But people don't really know where to begin this journey of giving and how do you start. And so Explore really kind of started just to kind of become a destination of trust. And the second mission of Explore was simply to give a voice to people who usually wouldn't have a voice. You know, to champion the selfless acts of others. There's a lot of people in this world who are doing such incredible acts, but they have no voice. So collectively, it was a way to create a library of inspiration, a, a collection of voices doing good work. The origins of Explorer.org cinematically began with uh, my own attending a film school at the University of Southern California. So I got a master's degree in film. Um, I'd done several projects as a writer and a director before Explore.org. And I wanted to use the visual arts, photography, and film to help tell the story because simply a picture is a thousand words. So if I go away on a trip, let's say Darfur or Rwanda here, and we met right now and I was trying to share with you the experience, it wouldn't really mean anything. But by being able to create a picture of it, I can kind of enter your soul better. And that's what's kind of interesting, you know. I, my, this is my first time to Florence. And if you enter the old churches of Florence and you look at the frescoes, what people don't realize is the birthplace of cinema is right here. All a fresco is, is a great epic film. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. And, you know, cinema today is the same way. When I film, I film in a style that I always call cinema verite, that was kind of based on the French new wave of filming. And what I mean by that is, there's never been a second take on an Explore film. There's never been a script. You know, we really go to a place with an open heart, an open mind, and then we learn. And we try to translate what we learned. So we don't go anywhere trying to prove a point. And at the end, it's really hopefully about a celebration of spirit, what you've seen. Not a pity party, but a celebration. And a lot of films in the documentary world try to show the struggle. And it's a little hard. I, I actually try to find the seeds of inspiration in people. So I try to take a little bit different of an approach with my films. The ultimate goal of Explore.org was to create a community of minds. Um, when you set out on a project, I always say, creativity is like chasing your shadow. Where you'd like to be and where you are are always two different things. So where Explore.org today is, for example, on our website, I'm happy you can just sign in. Okay, It was supposed to be much more of a community where people could upload their own content, share the works that they've done, um, and exchange ideas and information. And so we're not really at that point. Um, that said, what I've been doing right now is we've begun to host like a series of our own film festivals where uh, different directors and writers have been submitting their films. Um, we do our own prizes, and so we're kind of been building out categories. For example, this year we did a disaster film festival, because there's been so many disasters in the film, in the world. Or another one where just in America, it's you know, people who shoot films about the human condition or nonprofit leaders in their own community. So we're the ultimate goal is to open it up for other people. The difference is, and this is important for me at least, 
In today's world of the internet, everyone is focused on creating a galaxy. Big, impressive, volume. I work the different way because to me, what's missing in those galaxies? A sun, a planet, an energy source. So Explore, what I was trying to do to start was create a trusted source of information and then let it grow more naturally. So we're not really a big outfit. And as a result, unfortunately today, we can't bring in as much work yet. But I was really more concerned about the integrity of the pieces. So for example, every project that you see at Explore, if you wanted to get involved with, you know are quality leaders doing quality work. That's really important to me. So if you wanted to get involved. So there's just a little more details. But we're slowly uh, opening up. And that is the ultimate goal. Uh, I'm on my last leg, so someone's going to have to uh, take over. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you.